Apa kabar? <laughs> Apa kabar? <laughs> okay, wait, I think the better question is, aren't they excited to pick me? Um, so, <laughs> Team Christine, hello. <laughs> <laughs> so for me, it was very special. Um, I did not audition. Wow. Um, so I was in Andrew Lloyd Webber's Love Never Dies, mm -hmm. and I am very honored that they asked me uh, to be a part of the show. So of, cor of course I said yes. <laughs> of course. Yes. I'm from the opera world, actually. So I've been in many operas. Okay. Um, and in, I don't know. Whoa. I, I, you know, it's Over funny though. 50? I don't know. I, I, I don't count, honestly. Um, I'm not someone that's like, I have been on for Christine as 150 shows and foot. No, I, I just kind of live into it and live the moment. I live the moment. Yeah. So it depends, honestly, if I'm in a show or off a show and if I'm preparing for a show and which show it is. It's all consequential to what you're doing. When I'm in the midst of the show, like right now, um, you don't want to sing a lot before the show because the show is vocally very challenging and you do it every single day. So you don't want to tie yourself out. So when I warm up, I mean, you have to warm up just like a, physically, you know, like yeah. for a, a sport. Um, it, it's not too much because, again, it's, I use the show itself to kind of get into right. it. Yeah. Um, but, again, it just depends. Like leading up to this, though, I had a lot of preparation, you know, reading, researching. It's not just singing. Oh. Also, you know, dancing. And, I mean, there's so much to, to do in order to really prepare and do the show justice. You know, I mean, to sing Andrew Lloyd Webber's music in Phantom of the Opera, which is the most famous and longest okay. running, I mean, I mean, I'm a fan too. <laughs> so, you know, you, you have to do a lot, honestly, to prepare. I really wish that you guys could come backstage to see, like Reiner said, the show that happens behind the show. Yeah. Because, I mean, everyone has their own little things that you have to do before, mm -hmm. you know, like you do. There's like weird, oh, I do so many strange things. Oh. So many strange things, but I'm also a little weird and crazy anyway, in a good way, in a good way. Um, but I mean, like I have to fist bump everyone before I go on stage, you know, like explosion. And then, um, you know, I'm like a dinosaur sometimes behind stage or <laughs> there's, none of it would make sense. Sometimes I even think to myself, like, why do I have to do that? If I don't chew this candy five times, I can't go on stage. Like, no, it's not, no, it's, oh, I do actually. Like, I constantly am like, well, it's, so here's the thing. When you're singing on stage, it's really dry sometimes. So I'm constantly, anytime I'm off stage, I'm drinking water, I'm sucking on a cough drop because it's, it's so like, you want to make sure. So there's, there's constantly like, oh yeah. There's, it's not exactly elegant backstage sometimes. You know, you're like, okay, let's wipe that sweat off before we go on stage or, um, you know, um, like all the weird things that you have to do. Uh, but th there's quite a show that goes on, you know, to go on. Like, you know, when I first get in the boat, like what Jonathan and I do before, like we go. Like it, it's, it's very, mm -hmm. so yeah. <laughs> so yeah, it's, it's yeah, we're, we're funny like that though. But I love that. It, it, it connects you in an interesting way. One, it's amazing. Two, it, you know, I mean, we're basically kind of almost like soldiers, you know? I mean, each new culture, it brings its own wonderful things. And also, I mean, like, it's different food. So sometimes you're like, oh, maybe I shouldn't have eaten that. That's a new experience. You know, it, we're experiencing different everything together. So I'm going to have these people in my life for the rest of my life. Right. This kind of thing bonds people together like nothing else, right, you know? Right. And what's really cool is being in a world tour is now I have all these new friends from literally all over the world. I'm probably going to go to South Africa on my break because now suddenly I have all this new family. Why not? You know, I mean, I have friends from Italy, South Africa, China, everywhere. That's such a loaded question. I mean, it's it's just part of our being human. Going to the theater and seeing a show and experiencing this exchange of energy, which by the way, we feel. I mean, like, you're not just the audience. You are part of us and we feel you. And each audience brings to the table a different environment for us to feel. I mean, it's, you're going to experience the human condition and, and share it with people that maybe you never knew you'd ever share it with. The fact that I am in Malaysia, performing Phantom of the Opera for the first time in history to a Malaysian audience, which I've never been to before. And yet, the feeling I had this past weekend with those three audiences, I will forever remember this. I mean, it's, it's, it's magic. I mean, you have to at least go once, yeah. you know? You're never, and then you're gonna be obsessed. You're gonna, you're going to the have emotions. to go again. The emotions, I mean, you're going, come open-minded and open heart with an open heart and get ready to cry, get ready to laugh, get ready to be angry. I mean, like, and don't judge yourself. I say just go and, and let it wash over you and everyone's gonna have a slightly different experience, mm -hmm. but be open to it. Right. It's okay, it's all right. I mean, I am, I'm crying, my, my brain's out every day. So, and laughing and loving it and it's, yeah, just have fun. Thank you, please come to our show. We're so excited to be here and make history.